that we have top dead center established on our engine here, we're going to go ahead and put the distributor in. Uh, we have a new gasket here that came with our timing cover set uh, along with the water pump gaskets. Um, as we put this in, it's going to line up with the oil pump with this slot here. And this gear is going to mesh with our cam. So what we're going to do is just put this in for now. Chances are it's not going to line up, so it's not going to drop down. Um, a lot of guys, we're, we want to try to fire number one, so a lot of guys want cylinder number one to fire somewhere in this area as far as their rotor phasing is concerned. So we're lined up with the cam gear, but we're not dropping down all the way. That's because the oil pump shaft and the distributor are not lining up. So what we want to do is pull this out, take a long screwdriver, and you can see down in here where your oil pump shaft is. So you want to give that a little bit of a turn. Just do little steps to kind of figure out where you're at. I'm going to go ahead and put the distributor right back down in here. Okay, now that we got our distributor dropped down on the oil pump and the cam gear, we can see that it's pointing in this direction, which is where we want it for number one. Uh, what we'll go ahead and do is place this on. Got our cap on. We'll look at the rotor again. Mark the outside of the housing so you know where it's pointed. As you drop the distributor cap down, you'll line this terminal or whatever terminal is closest to that mark, this will be your number one cylinder. So then when you go ahead and route your wires, you'll start with number one, it'll route around to this side, and then you base everything off of number one.